Hi, and welcome to the virtual version of the electron diffraction experiment for Physics 301. I'll start by giving you a little tour of our apparatus. So, <clears throat> here it is. It's um, relatively simple. Um, the most important part is this vacuum tube. So this whole glass bulb is evacuated and the back end of it uh, is where the main action happens. Um, so in here, uh, the very, I'm going to actually turn it on so you'll be able to see what's happening. So if we come back over here, I just flip this power switch on. Whoop, that didn't work. Got to plug it in first. Okay, let's try it again. Put the power switch on. And um, this is showing us the number of kilovolts that's being applied to accelerate the electrons. I'm going to go ahead and turn that all the way up to the maximum. Um, it's interesting that it says over on the right 2.5 kilovolts maximum, but actually we can go much higher than that to 5.46 kilovolts it's no problem at all and this big knob here allows us to adjust that voltage um, so maybe I will turn off the light so you can get a better view of what's going on so if we look at the back of the tube over on the left you can see that orange thing that's glowing um, that's the base of a filament can I yeah from the back we can look and see that that red glowing filament orange glowing filament so that's um, on the side the filament is mostly up inside this metal structure and it's being heated up because that makes it easier to pull the electrons off of it so the electrons get pulled off of it and then they're accelerated toward this second thing, which is another electrode that's held at a high positive voltage. So right now we're applying 5.46 kilovolts. The filament is close to ground, close to zero volts, and so it's this, this structure here which is at 5.46 kilovolts. So that's accelerating the electrons this way. That beam is hitting the last thing in the stack which looks like it's kind of glowing green right now. That's actually reflected light. Um, but right at the center there is a piece of graphite. If I turn it off for a second, you can see it's not actually green. It's really kind of grayish color. And if we look from the other side, that's right at the center of that uh, circular assembly. I'll try to point it out as best I can. Right there, that's where the little piece of graphite is. And if we pull back further, we can already see these rings on this front part. So this white area is painted with a special chemical that glows green when the electrons hit it. And from the fact that you can see those rings, you already can tell that the electrons are behaving as waves, in this case rather than particles, because they're being diffracted by that little piece of graphite. Pretty cool. Okay. So, um, I've adjusted the exposure on my video camera, so I think you can see what's going on pretty well. So, you can see that there are several different ring structures. The one, this, let me try to get this, there's an outer one here. There's kind of a partial, very thin one here. And then there's an inner one here. And then there's some other ones that are not very well resolved because they're sort of washed out by this central spot, which is where the undiffracted electrons are coming through. So we are going to focus on the outer ring and not this kind of in incomplete one, but this, this one that goes all the way around, this sort of fatter one that goes all the way around. And um, so... First, let's explore qualitatively what happens as I vary the voltage. Right now, we're at the highest possible voltage, 5.47. So let me turn the voltage down. And I'm gradually turning it down. And notice what's happening 
to the rings as I turn it down. You should notice two things happening. Right now I barely can see them anymore. I'm at 2.84 kilovolts now. I'm going to start turning them back up. Turning the voltage back up. Continuously turning it up. Turning it up, turning it up, turning it up, turning it up. Now, it might, I'm going to go back down to 2.84, and this time I'm going to turn it up more quickly, which will emphasize more the changes. All right, so I'm going to ask a concept test. As I turn the voltage up, you should have observed two changes. What were those two changes? So pause the video for a moment, think about it, and then come back. What you should have seen is that both the intensity of the rings, the intensity of the rings got brighter as I went to higher voltage, and also the diameter of the rings got smaller as I went to higher voltage. I'm going to ask you, as part of your report, to think about why the diameter gets, gets smaller. That's essentially the main thing that we're investigating in this experiment. The reason that the brightness gets brighter, that's um, a little bit less obvious. I think that what's happening there is that as we turn the voltage up, more and more of the electrons from the filament are being captured and uh, because there's a higher voltage, so more of them are attracted into the forward direction. So I think that that's the main reason why we are, we, we see the brightness increasing with the voltage. All right, so now um, we have to make some measurements. For these measurements, I'm going to be using a digital caliper. Um, this is made by, can you see that? Not very well. Let's go out in the light. It's made by NACO Corporation, N-E-I-K-O, and it reads to the nearest 0 0.01 millimeter. And the zero on it's a little bit flaky. Um, so I'll have to keep on repeatedly zeroing it. But that's what we're going to be using to make our measurements. And um, I'm going to be measuring the outer diameter of this outer ring. So that's about like so. And the inner diameter of that outer ring and then I'll also be measuring the outer diameter of the inner ring, about like so, and the inner diameter of the inner ring. So from those, and I'll, I'll make those four measurements at each of a series of different voltages, and from those you'll be able to get all the information you need. Now one thing that you are called on to do is to give a, I think you're, you're asked for some estimates about the uncertainty in these measurements. Um, so let's just do one of those together here. So let's say if I want to measure the outer diameter of the outer ring, I'm touching the glass with my calipers and I'm trying to look straight on. So there's my best estimate right there, which is 37.47 millimeters. So now I'm going to use the seat of the pants method to estimate the uncertainty in that. If I go a little bit bigger, I'm pretty darn sure that that's too big now. So that's 38.34. And then if I go smaller, pretty darn sure that that's too small now. So that's 36.87. So that gives you the range of plus or minus two sigma, the, the maximum where I was pretty sure it was too big to the minimum when I was pretty sure it was too small. That's a range of plus or minus two sigma or plus a total of four sigma there. And we can assume that that's, that's going to be roughly the uncertainty for all the measurements that I'm going to be making for you. Okay, so we need to plan our data taking. We want to probably get about a dozen data points total. Um, 
And so we need to think what's the range over which we can do it. This is 5.48 kilovolts, which is the highest that my apparatus will allow me to go. As I take it down, as we saw before, the rings get fainter and fainter. Let me close the curtains so that we can really push it. Let's see, can you guys still see? Yeah, not too bad. All right, so I'm going down, 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 trying to find what's the minimum voltage at which I still feel moderately confident. Um, let me increase your night vision a little bit. Yeah, probably about here. The rings are so faint, I can just barely still see them. I think I could still get a pretty good measurement. So that's at two volts. So we have uh, two kilovolts. We have a range basically from two kilovolts up to 5.5 kilovolts. So let's think if we went in half volt increments, I'd have two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half. So that's eight. So I need to go a little bit finer than that. So maybe I'll go in roughly a third of a kilovolt increments.